It won't appear again until 2030. In April, Jupiter will form a special triangle with two bright stars in the night sky, and it'll be visible with the naked eye if you know where to look. Writing in Space.com, Hayden Planetarium Astronomy Lecturer Joe Rao calls it the Jupiter Triangle. Jupiter forms a triangle with two bright stars that can be seen this month in the night sky starting around 11 p.m. Face east-southeast and you'll see a roughly isosceles triangle comprised of the star Arcturus and the binary system Spica, with Jupiter forming the brightest of the three points. The Arcturus-Jupiter and Arcturus-Spica sides of the triangle measure about 38 degrees in length, while the Jupiter-Spica side is about 30 degrees long. The triangle will narrow in shape throughout the month as Jupiter moves in the night sky towards Spica. The triangle will be visible until September when Spica disappears into the sunset. Jupiter will do the same in early November. The gas giant will not reappear in this part of the sky until 2030. If light pollution prevents you from seeing the Jupiter Triangle, there is a long, narrow triangle currently visible high in the western sky during the evening, in the constellation of Gemini, the Twins. To infinity and beyond! Neutron stars birth a kilonova. Feeling up for a fireworks show of galactic proportions, Tomo Sabians? Then aren't you in for a treat? Millions of light years from the Milky Way, inside the Hydra constellation is an elliptical galaxy. It's here astronomers believe they detected both light and gravity from a kilonova event. That's cool, Tomo, but what the Kenobi are they? First detected in 2013, a kilonova is a class of supernova explosion resulting from two colliding neutron stars. The Space Telescope Science Institute says each neutron in this case was no wider than Washington, D.C. Typically, they're between 6 and 12 miles in diameter. The Institute added that the stars in question weighed between 10% and 60% more than our Sun. That's 4.18 nonillion pounds, 4.18 followed by 30 zeros multiplied by 1.1 and 1.6 times, respectively. It's the collision of two of these ultra-compact densities in that astronomers believe emitted light and gravity strong enough to be observed on Earth. And that's a big deal, because it's the first time gravity and light have been spotted coming from the same cosmic event. What followed the kilonova is unknown. But NASA astrophysicist Eleonora Troya speculates the cosmic explosion may have formed a black hole. And inside that, Tomo sapiens, is what's generally referred to as the point of no return, a place beyond reality. Meet our sun's long-lost evil twin. Scientists have long believed that stars are born with at least one companion. Unfortunately, there hasn't been much evidence to support this theory until now. A new study has found that sun-like stars initially form as wide binaries and either come together or break apart over the next million years. Some systems, like the Alpha Centauri, even form as triplets. Our sun would have been separated by a distance of 500 or more astronomical units from its twin star before it was believed to have moved farther away. The twin has been dubbed Nemesis, after scientists hypothesized that it had knocked an asteroid out of orbit and sent it hurtling toward Earth. They say that asteroid eventually collided with our planet and killed off the dinosaurs. Still, Nemesis has never actually been found, and the idea that it may be responsible for catastrophic events on Earth has yet to be proved. The Star That Just Won't Die Know how Super Mario has a superstar that makes him invincible for a short time? Well, this star trumps it, and epically so. A three-year-long supernova event half a billion light-years from Earth in the Ursa Major constellation has confounded astronomers. Designated as IPTF-14HLS, the supernova was first detected in 2014. Reportedly, there was a similar explosion observed in 1954 in the same area. Scientists theorized the original star was so hot it may have created antimatter at its core, forcing it to become unstable and explode. This could lead to the supernova repeating until it eventually tears a hole in space-time and becomes a black hole. And what would lay beyond that theoretical space abyss is anybody's guess. The flickering on Tabby's star is caused by dust. Tabby's star flashes like a neon sign in the sky, and scientists now know why. 
Scientists say they now have an explanation for why Tabby's star flickers. Space dust. KIC 8462852, the star's official name, is best known for its sudden drops in brightness. A team of 200 scientists now believe a cloud of dust particles is causing the star to appear to flicker. Researchers reported that Tabby star grew dimmer in blue wavelengths than in red ones between March 2016 and May 2017. They believe this is likely being caused by dust particles less than a micrometer in size. Now they just need to figure out where the dust comes from. Aliens?